Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about uh, one of these sensors and another one. This is the uh, BMP 280 sensor. This little silver thing right here is that BMP 280 made by Bosch. Now this breakout board is from Adafruit and I bought it a few months ago when I was looking for an all-in-one temperature, pressure, and humidity sensor for some environmental projects I wanted to do. And this is a nice sensor. It can work on either I squared C or SPI. And you know, it's got um, a 3.3 volt regulator in there. And you can even use it and grab a little 3.3 voltage off of it right there to power and another 3.3 volt sensor but I didn't pay enough attention when I was ordering it because this does not have a hum uh, yeah a, a humidity function this is temperature and pressure only I mean I looked through all the libraries I could find and I, I just couldn't figure it out until I realized there's a difference between the BMP and the BME. So this is the sensor that I really wanted. And uh, somebody, I'm not going to name any names, soldered these headers on upside down. So there is the BME 280 sensor and this is an I squared C sensor and it does have temperature pressure and humidity which is what I wanted an all-in-one kind of thing so I put together a little demo and let's go take a look at the code all right so here's our code for the BME 280 temperature pressure humidity sensor I'm not going to go over all this, but here are the pins for the display using the SPI interface. And here's your pins for the BME 280 using the I squared C. One thing I will say you must be careful of. If you're using the DIY mall or the Adafruit BME 280, you can hook it up to 5 volts because it has a 3.3 volt regulator. If you're using another board, make sure you plug it into 3.3 volts. All right. Here are our libraries. We're using the Adafruit Sensor Library, the Adafruit BME 280 Library, the SPI Library, and the Adafruit PCD 8544, which is the Nokia 5110. Here are our defines. These ones are for the soft SPI, and this one sets our sea level reference. We have two library objects one called display and one called BME. We have three variables of the float type used for calculating the dew point. Under setup we have serial begin so that we can debug, BME begin to start our sensor, display begin to start the display, and then we set the contrast uh, 60 for me you're going to have to set it to whatever looks good for you because I'm sure different displays are going to be different. Then we do this little thing here to clear the display and get ready. Now here is our loop. We're always going to start with a clear the display so we don't overwrite. Then we're going to set our text size, set text color, and put the cursor in the upper left position. Now the three things that we're reading are the temperature, the pressure and the humidity. So now the temperature reads in Celsius. I'm converting that to Fahrenheit here. And these three lines will print that out to the first line of the screen. And you'll notice this one has a LN at the end of the print line, so it skips a space. And it looks like I should have skipped a space there, huh? Okay. Next, we have the three lines to print the pressure, which reads in kilopascals, 
and by multiplying that by 0 0.2953 we convert it to inches of mercury. And the last three here display the humidity. No calculations are necessary, it just gives you a percentage. Now all of this from here down prints to the buffer. And I'll show you how we get it on the screen here in a second. Now this library does not have a dew point calculation built into it, so I'm doing it myself here. This is the formula, and I do it here in three steps. So now these three lines print the dew point, which is calculated in Celsius. So of course I convert it to Fahrenheit. And then this line right here displays what we just sent to the buffer. And we wait two seconds. Now you can set that whatever you want. If this is going to be a long running, you know, sensor for atmospheric and environmental conditions, you might want to take a reading every one minute, every five minutes. There's no reason to have it every two seconds. And that's it. Let's go take a look at it in action. All right. Let's take a look at it. Power it up. And we should have a reading here any second. There we go. So we've got temperature 72.54 degrees. Pressure 28.66. That's a little low. We've had having thunderstorms this morning. Humidity 42.8. And a little high due to the thunderstorms. And our dew point is 52.14 degrees. So you can see we are in a nice wet situation here in Ohio this morning. March 1st, 2017. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you'd like this. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? I'll see you next time.